Huh, looky there. We got two new little friends. Buttercup and Lily. Okay, these two little girls are more or less kind of a rescue type situation. The little, I call her white, but she's really not white. Almost died. Hey, be nice. Almost died. She lost all of her hair. Like, every bit of it was nothing but skin. She had hair on her face. But, let me pause this. This is their food. Got mineral in it. And this is a zinc tablet. Because this little girl, when she lost her hair, all the research I could do showed that it was a zinc deficiency. Now, I got to put their feet in and I have to use this funnel. And I can't... <laughs> I can't do this and, and film and hold this and everything at the same time. So, let me get that done. I guess I'm st stuck down in there. Yeah. One gets stuck crossways and then it won't let them go out. Okay, let me get the rest of your food. So anyway, I have kept these two quarantined, and I think that I have them clear of everything. This little girl still has a ways to go. She's pretty skinny, and I hated to put this one in with her because she is a food hog, but hopefully... I'm going to I'm going to put them in the garden. I'll show you what we're doing. Okay. See these two raised beds. I have Egyptian walking onions in that one. I have my garlics coming up. And then my plan is to plant some lettuce, Swiss chard, maybe some spinach and possibly Now I don't even remember. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to plant some of this butter. So, we're going to... I've taken my panels. I know you can't see good. Let me... Taking my panels off of those T-posts over there. And I've got two of them right here. It's going to take three. And I'm going to put panels around these two raised beds. So that when I put the goats in here, they don't get what I have planted in here. Those are just there just because they were on the ground in the way. But anyway, that's the plan. That's what we've been working on. Change to the other one. And I brought my nippers just in case. Okay, got it all cut down. There's my pile of stuff. I'm going to go give it to the goats. Okay, got it covered with compost.
Swiss chard, spinach, carrots, and two different kinds of lettuces. So I'm headed out to the garden. It's at the bottom. We got these carabiners that I'm going to latch. Maybe. This is just so that I can get in to the two race beds if I need to. Okay, this is little buttercup. I just did her feet. And we are going to bend her horns. Oh <laughs> She's going to get away. These are bands you use to dehorn a goat. Okay, let me get over here. You're fine, you're fine. Put them down as far as you possibly can get them on the horn. And then the horn falls off in four to six weeks. I hope so. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh, I got it. I know, I'm doing something.
this is what they look like up close. They're about a quarter of an inch flat. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get this one's feet done. They don't look bad. You might have to put more food in the tray. Don't put it all in there though. You can pee on my asparagus. <laughs> make it grow. Might. Okay, y'all. That's in case it rains. And this is what it all looks like. Thanks for joining me on this video. It may be kind of long. I don't know. I haven't done any editing yet. And I know this isn't gardening, but it is. These are my garden cleanup girls. And I have to declare which team I'm going to be on for Shed Wars. I've been on Team Will It Grow for two years and enjoyed it immensely. But this year, I think I'm going to go over to homestead aquarius i hope nobody gets mad it's all in fun so thanks for watching y'all